What we got today, Minina and Media Box and G Black Chain? Today we have Wonderfox DVD Video Converter. It's your total solution to rip DVDs to your PC, a smart TV, your iPhone, iPad, and your Android phone and tablet. So let me show you this right now. Hey, how are you doing everyone? This is Dario from Media Box ENT Blockchain. And this is the software you're looking for. Why? Because now it's time if you have all these DVDs, I guess it's taking a lot of space in your house. Maybe you kids, you know, kids like to watch the same cartoon a hundred times and it gets a scratch, the finger you gotta clean and it takes a lot of space. So it's time to make this in a real small format, a virtual format where you carry it right in your hard drive. If you run a Plex server, what idea? You just put everything in a Plex server, play anywhere in your house. Maybe you want some in a tablet for travel. Before you, you travel, you put all your movies there. You can download movies. You can do whatever you want. But that's nice because you said, you know, my, my case, maybe I have a, 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 an iPhone and maybe somebody else has a, a Google phone and it has different formats. And you want to exchange it to that format because it takes less space. You don't want to clock your phone with a four gigabyte file when you can make it only six, 600 megabytes. I will show you all this in the software, how easy it is to convert to any format, to an MP3, to a web version, and to anything you want. So one file, you can convert it to anything you want. Besides, you can easily is, is read an ISO file, read DVDs, or use it to exchange between formats from like one movie to an, M an MP3 format. So let me show you that right now, how the whole thing works. Now, always remember, all the information that require you to get this software is right below this video, the link for you. So, but let's go and let me show you how the software works. So the first thing we need to do is just go to the main page. We're going to be downloading the software. So the information will be right below the video or either right in the post. So we can download the free version and it's compatible with Windows 10, 8, 7, Vista, even XP. So when you download it, you execute it and you install it. Once it's installed, we execute the software for first. So we are in the main software now, but it's simple to use. Here we're going to put any files, local computers. Here are the ones we download, external. We load DVDs, ringtones, and these, this is the different formats. What it make it nice, and I show you right now. You have an Apple. Depends on the version you have. You have an iPhone 8. Click an iPhone 8, and then now you can exchange it to an, an iPhone, um, iPhone 8. Uh, Google phones, Samsung, and different format. TVs, so a smart TV, projectors. Now maybe I want to exchange it to a 4K. Maybe I want an audio version because I download a bunch of videos or the movie that I have in a DVD, and I want to make an, an, an MP4 format. But now maybe I want to carry my car, or maybe it's a soundtrack and I want to make an mp3 format so you can click and make an mp3 format uh, you want a web version maybe you have your own page and you want to do it in a different format you can do that too you can create your own craft format so what we're going to do now I'm going to go to my page this is my video I'm going to click in my video it can be anything else okay so I'll show you a sample of my page I click below I copy here, I click analyze. It's gonna analyze and it give me the higher resolution available. Normal my videos are 720, so it's gonna show me 720. If you download anything 1080, it will be 1080 or 4K. So here we have different available formats. For me, logical, I will download it the highest resolution. Destination of the software, we click download. And listen, 20 seconds. 10 seconds done that's it it's done now you want to load this and exchange it to a different format we're going to click yes we're going to load it back again and we can actually view it see and it's playing locally now since it's already done low and as in my case i have a, i'm running a postcast so i need to run this in mp3 format so what i'm going to do i'm going to change it I'm going to go into audio version, MP3. Now run the settings. And because 
it's a forecast, I need to be a little low. So my bit rate, so we don't use a lot of space, 128 bit. You can exchange it any way you want. We click OK, run. And now it's an MP3 format. You can load as many, you can do it a batch, you can load 20 if you want, and it will do that too. Now, if you're in the download version and you just grab a playlist, it will download the whole entire playlist. All right, that's real nice. So that's simple. That's it. We don't need to view that again. My next is a local file, so I'm going to load a DVD. It's saw my DVD right there. All right. Yes, we just need to delete the other one. And here, what is nice, it goes, if you got a DVD, you have a lot of all the stuff, with junk, previous, we don't want that. So we want only the main movie. Normally, how you how you know? Because we see here, the main movie and is an hour and 36 minutes. So we're going to take this out, take this out. We take this one too, and we take, um, oh, that's because this is the MP3. So let's make a video, video format. I want MP4. That's it, because it saw that it was an MP3, that's why. So now, see, if there's another language available, show here, titles, disable. See, we can put title for if we want, with the titles into it, it matter to the video. Even we can edit, and we can click anything here and, and delete a scene, or we can cut it, we can change the format. You can make it small, whatever you want. So when we're done, we click run, and now it will convert that DVD. It's a seven, seven gigabyte right now. It will be much smaller in the end, and that's simple. We're going to stop this. Now, you have an ISO file. That's okay. We click, and that's right over here, actually. Let me, uh, that's it. Right over here, we click low. Let me go into my... Uh, Open, and that's the original ISO file. As we see here, we see the main movie, yeah, right there. This is nothing for me, so I'm gonna delete that. We remove it. That's it. And maybe I want to exchange it to a different format. Uh, I want it for my iPhone. Uh, let me see what we have there. For an A, A plus iPhone. That's it. Done. Here we got the version of the audio. We can exchange that if we want, if it's available. See, I want title. I don't want any title. We click run, and that will do it. Now, that's nice. You want to make a ringtone, we come here, and we can load, uh, load a file. It will make automatic ringtone in different format. Now, let me show you to edit. I'm going to load the file. So let's go and edit. We're going to click edit. And as we see here, we can even trim the video. If we feel like, we can give an effect. We can forward. And then we click OK. And it will now make a new video. When it's done, we click run. And it will exchange it and save it to the format of the iPhone. So let's go over some of the configuration. Here, you'll be able to update your software. We click the hammer and there are a few questions, pretty simple, what the sounds are, when it's down, you download destination, conversion, A, you want the higher score available, have A, and you want as possible the CPU, I want the higher, so I want all the attention to be in the software, in my case, that's what I want, and if you want to click here, if you are available, any GPU will go fast, uh, task 99 for download it, and yes, when activate to load the Reaper, so, that will be that there. Now, what is nice, if you guys need more, figure out more things, you're going to click right over here, and it's pretty nice troubleshooting page. If you like information how to convert the video, you click on it, and automatic will open the main site, uh, how, how to rip a DVD, and it give you all the information you need. Now, like I said, again, this is good if you're running a big collection of DVDs and it's time to put into a hard drive. If you run a Plex server, now you have all your uh, favorite movie in, a, in MP format and you can play all over the house. If you want to carry some of this video in a small version for your phone, it should be like a 3 gigabyte file. It will be in a small file. So now, to get the software, 
Very simple. You're going to go right on the page and you're going to download it for free. Install it and give this a shot. I mean, you see here, you, know, can, you can rip, make all your movies nice in one hard drive or in carrying your phone. Very simple to use. If you have any questions or any comment, you can always leave it right below the video or either in the post. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.